Okay, so this is just a, a quick unplanned tutorial on how I do my comic layouts. Um, this isn't really how to do it from scratch since I already have my uh, page template for Exvilnarum um, already made as you can see. I'm using SAI the program to do this. So, okay, let's get started. Well, what I do is I have a page template like so and um, I just keep it blank and as you can see it's transparent. Let me fill in the background. It's it's transparent so um, except for the border. Um, so what I do is sketch out what I want to have for my page and it can be anything within this entire area so let's see. Um, Let's say I want a panel here. Okay, normally when I'm sketching, I would have like I would draw in the characters and the speech bubbles and whatnot, but um, I don't think I'm gonna worry about that right now since it's a fake page. Um, I like to vary up the angles. It depends on the character poses and what they're saying and where their speech bubbles are. Um, they kind of lend to different angles. So just experiment with that. Um, so let's see. There's three panels. And then say I want like two big panels, one here and one here. And then maybe a an inset panel here. So the reading order would go boom, 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 boom. Alright. Um... So I'll just lower the opacity and okay what I do is here move the window over okay I get let's see I have a preset tool for the borders so here are my settings size 33 um 100% minimum size so that it doesn't um so that it has uniform width, uh, full density, um, here are the rest of the settings down here. So, um, for you, I'm making this for a friend, for you, you're going to have to play around with the sizes to get the borders um, to be what you want them to be. Like th this, this template page right here, the resolution is 1500 by 2000 so that's where I'm getting my 33 size from it, it fits good with that and with my my comic style so okay I have my sketch now what I do is I you know I have this tool going so I do I do the straight lines first usually so I have a okay let me show you my layers Okay, I have a, a, a okay, here's here's a sketch. Here's where I'm going to do the border and here's the overall template border that already came and ignore that. Okay. Uh, so, I start on that that middle layer and I just I click like right here first and then I press shift and then click at the end of the line, and it'll make a straight line line inside. So, okay, sorry, I have to move the window around. It takes a minute. Um, so, what I normally do is once I make a, a line for my border, I make a new layer so that I can um, erase easier. Um, so here's my second line it's on a new layer that way when I erase you know it didn't cut into my original line and then I can go down to my original line and, and erase and that makes a nice sharp corner and then I just merge them down and make a new one for the next line which is right here and then I just erase I have hotkeys for erase by the way um, for the erase function. Okay, merge it. 
then here's a line here merge it here's a line here erase merge and then I'm gonna have a box here so okay normally if I'm doing a line straight up and down and I want to make sure it's completely vertical I'll draw it alongside the border that way I can kind of kind of have a got a guide like see that's a little bit slanted I can tell from the border so I'm gonna transform it make it more straight that looks pretty straight right that's eh, close enough um, wow that was barely even big enough probably should have made it let me make it bigger Hold on. always make a line bigger or taller than it has to be that way you can erase instead of worrying about extending it okay that's still a bit slanted um, okay so line there I'll copy this layer to make a line there and then I can copy that layer after merging it and rotate, rotate it clockwise and that makes a perfect square if I didn't want it to be perfect square I could just take this and move it up or down um, and now I just have to erase whoops this one um, and then this you know there's probably an easier way to do this but this is the method I struck upon oh this doesn't look very good why is this oh, how did I do that how did I manage that I'm undoing okay so that's where I did it. Okay, let me redo all that. Sorry. This tutorial is probably a little hard to follow since I didn't plan it out very much. But I mean, what helps me is not necessarily learning all the steps on how to do something. Sometimes it's just seeing how other people do it. Um, in their their natural their natural uh, method, just watching them work, um, and then I can take what they do and adapt it. Okay, what I'm doing now is setting the stabilizer to a really really high number. That way I can make this curvy border look pretty smooth. So okay, I'm on a new layer, and I just kind of draw the curvy border. Okay, it probably could be smoother, so... Oh, wait, let me move this one. Okay, stabilizer, maximum. This back. Um, maximum. Oops, I forgot to merge this. Down here. Okay. Um, and then just... Okay, hold on. Okay, this is really... Okay, there, perfect. Not quite, but good enough. Um, okay, and then I'm changing the stabilizer again because working on that setting is really annoying because it goes really slow. All right, so I have the basic border done, and if you want, you can stop there and just merge this template down onto that, and then you have your your border. But um, if you can't tell, I have a white border on the inside of the black border. So I'm going to show you how I how I create that effect for my comic. Um, to me, it looks a lot nicer, but a lot of web comic artists don't do this. So you know, it's it's up to you. But I'll go ahead and include it. So what I do is whoops what I do is 
Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I get this. Hold on, let me move this. I get the selection tool. Set it to transparency. Make the difference pretty low. Um, working layer, anti-alias. Is that how you say it? Aliasing? Um, okay, and then I, I, I select the, the layer where my, my border is on. And I, um, select all the outside of it. Yeah. And then I do, oh, let me move this again. I do layer. Oh, no, I don't do that. I, I press this button here. But I'm, you could probably do it here. Um, maybe not. Anyway, I press this button here. Um, actually, no, I don't press it yet. Sorry. Um, I go to selection increment one, and I press that about four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try ten. I forgot how many times I press it. Let's try ten. And then I press this button, um, make a new layer, and fill it in with white. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. So I did it 10 times, which is about a third of the 33 pencil size I used. Um, but notice how it looks kind of ugly, like these, these areas don't look real good. So what I do is I get a, a tool. Okay, this is the same tool I used to draw the black borders. I make it 11, which is a third of the size, and I make it white. Whoop. And then I go back in here and um, okay, I just I just you know do it in myself, which is actually really fun for me. Just like mixing it up. Okay, I'm, I might have made this too small because my brush is a little fat. Oh, if you if you don't know, I'm undoing really fast as I as I draw. That's my drawing habit. I undo quickly until I get the stroke exactly right. So I just you know um, fill it in and make it look better. But I'm doing this really sloppily right now, since I am running out of time. Um, but yeah, uh, this is how I do page borders for Exfulnerum. Basically, the only thing I didn't cover was creating the template in the first place. Um, which is just a matter of, of, of style, how you want the page to look. Like, um, for example, I just put the title at the top in a border going all the way around. Oh, and then the website at the bottom. Um, oh, I was already here, wasn't I? Mm. Let's see, okay. Okay, yeah, this is really, really sloppy, but, but you get the picture. Really, really sloppy. But, yep, I'm going to have to shut this off, because I am approaching 15 minutes. So, I hope this helped. This is basically for just one of my friends, but if anybody else finds this useful, then you're welcome. Okay, this has been Zules. See you later. Oh, gotta press.